Jacob and it's my name is James so welcome to this video where what I'm doing is I'm be playing the Watson Scott test. So it is about um eleven o'clock at night now. Um why I'm recording this so late. Um I've been busy all day with all kinds of family stuff. Uh but you know, we're gonna we're gonna go now um into the Watson Scott test. So it is a horror game. Um so if you're not that much of a fan of horror games and that type of stuff then, um, sorry for you, this is pretty much gonna suck. Alright, let's get in. Let's see what's going on. This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Continue. Alright. For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation. Your, your certificate of participation. Please note that typically only 13% of, of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. I'm I'm 14 years old. I'm ch chances are I'm not going to get, you know, a cardiac arrest. So Firstly, some calibration questions. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. What color is the sky during the day? Uh... I mean, it's green for me. What is it for you guys? I'm pretty sure, like, the sky is green. Uh, oh, no, red. Red. You, you hear, you, you hear that one song, like, red, red skies, like, Ah, oh, I'm sitting here. Looking up at these red, red skies. Yeah. These red, red skies. Ooh. No, it's... The sky's blue. Fun. If there are three oranges, and I take away two, how many are left? <sighs> I can't... I can't think of an answer. <sighs> well, three minus two is one, right? Or is it infinity? I'm pretty sure it's infinity, but you know, I'll take a chance on five. Maybe I'll do one. Yeah, let's take a test on. Let's take a chance on one. Are you playing a game right now? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that this is called the Watson Scott test, not the Watson Scott game. Are you playing a game right now? No, I'm playing a survey. I'm I'm playing a test, if I can put it simply. Are you sure it's not a game? Yes. It's called the Watson Scott test. Idiot. Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. Fun. Okay. It's raining outside. And you're walking in bare feet. Sure. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. You feel... Oh, there's disgusted. Cool. Uh, I feel freaking disgusted. That sounds awful. There's a knock at your door. You open it to find an old woman in, a tattered, in tattered clothes. She says she's being chased and wants to hide inside your home. You... Uh, 
tell her to seek hope than to uh, offer to call the police while she waits outside. Well, well, I'm quite a, I think of myself as a helpful person or a nice person, but I'm not inviting her inside if there's something chasing her, so offer to call the police while she waits outside. Sorry, lady. I, I need to make sure that I'm safe and that everyone who lives with me is safe because I don't live here alone. You're at a farm. You make eye contact with a cow in the field. The farmer says its name is Samuel. It's dinner time. And the farmer serves you a plate of rib eye steak. Oh, you... Oh, no! Poor cowie! You cooked... You cooked Samuel... Oh. I don't like steak. So specifically because I don't like steak, I guess the only sensible option is to stab the farmer with my knife. Um, it's the only sensible option. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. I believe in you. I believe. Yes. Tell me. That looks like a baby to me. How did that image make you feel? Ah. Did I gleek? It made me feel nothing. It was a picture. Do pictures make you feel something? Do you believe in ghosts? Partly yes, partly no. Um, yes to if there are spirits with unfinished business, but like, if you die you just become a ghost, no. So I'd say undecided. Maybe. Yeah. Have you ever seen a ghost? I had sleep paralysis once when I was younger, so, like... And I saw, like, a black... black figure thing climbing out of, like, one of my cupboards, and that was creepy. But I'm not sure that that was a ghost, so I'll say unsure. Uh, yeah. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? No, no one. Uh, not yet, I suppose, you know. But I could, I could, you know, always stay optimistic. Uh, uh, and always be prepared, because, you know, you know, well, hmm, quite unique answers so far. Why, thank you, I... I feel like I'm pretty unique. <clears throat> Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. Okay, continue. I sometimes see things that aren't really there. Uh, I agree. I, I do. Like, from time to time, I do see things that aren't there. Whether I'm tired, or whether it's just like, I see things that aren't there, I see things that aren't there. I often think there are ghosts inside my house. Strongly disagree. Or, I'll just say disagree. I don't think that there are ghosts in my house, maybe there are. Um, I'm not gonna invite that shit, so I'm just gonna say that there aren't. Some people deserve to die. I strongly disagree with that. I, I believe that no one, no one deserves to die. I know that we're all going to, but like, no one deserves it. I would know if someone was inside my house preparing to kill me while I was distracted by a fake test. Um. Hmm. see the door so like you know I'm, I'm out I'm out bye bye I'll see you next episode bye
You got me. I didn't actually leave. That wasn't a clever, funny thing. I'm just wasting recording time. Whatever. Um, I'd say I... Yeah, I strongly agree, because, you know, everything in our house makes lots of noise, so, you know. There is an unexpected guest in my house. If there were, then, then they'd have to meet my pointer. They'd have to come and meet our pointer, Toffee. She's a wonderful little dog, um, but if you touch her, she will murder you. Nobody would know if I went missing. Uh, strongly disagree. There's literally, like, now in quarantine specifically, you'd know when I went missing. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. I... I... I agree. I strongly agree. Poetry is beautiful. It's beautiful artwork. Correct! I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Here's one I just wrote. Fun. Roses are red. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Ah. Only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. Oh. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? I... Fuck. Okay, yeah? Alright, let's do this. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no, I ain't no bitch. How far away is the closest police station? I'm sorry that I'm not looking in the camera. I'm looking at the viewfinder right now because like, I mean, obviously I'd know if someone was in this space because you know, everything makes noise. Um, but yeah, it's more than a 15 minute walk. And chances are they're closed. So, how well do you know your neighbors? Oh, like I used to not know my neighbors very well, but we're we're pretty good friends now. We're pretty good friends now. Um, uh, hypothetically, if you were to scream as loudly as possible right now, would anyone hear you? Um, yes, in fact, um, I have to be very quiet right now, because, um, if I scream, then, um, my grandparents, um, live upstairs, and sound travels right up, so if I scream, literally everyone in the house will hear me, and there's, like, nine people living here along with my grandparents and my family, so, yeah, yes, <laughs> literally... We've had complaints from the neighbors before, like, that that I'm being too loud. <laughs> you were being tortured? I said that I would end your suffering by... sawing off one of your arms. How would that end my suffering? Which arm would you like me to remove? My left arm. I never use it, so... My right, I'm behind you. Oh. Hey, buddy, how's it going? My left arm. Please remove my left arm if you were to remove one of my arms. Um, I'm right-handed, right-handed gang. Never use this thing, ever. Which arm do you think I'm... I'd actually cut off. Probably my right, since I told you. I'm going to die tonight in my own home, and there's nothing I could do about it. Now you'd cut off my right arm, I'm pretty sure, for some reason, because you're cruel like that. You're alone in a pod at the top of a ferris wheel. 400 feet in the air. What ferris wheel is 400 feet in the air? When it suddenly stops, a fire has broken out below. The operator speaks over the intercom. 
everyone is going to die a slow and painful death. But if you jump, I will catch you. You... Jump off and fly. I can grow wings! I have the option to grow- Hell yeah, I'm growing wings, bro. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not speak. I don't think it will. Oh, it's a spider. Hello, spider. I don't like spiders that much. How did that image make you feel? I don't feel scared. Violent. I hate spiders. And all I want to do is smash, smash, smash whenever I see them. So, yeah. I'll ask you this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? Uh, yeah. No, I'm not playing a game. I'm playing the Watson Scott test. Do you know that I'm a good person? I don't know that. But I'd like to think that you are. So, if I'm being completely honest, no, I don't know that you're a good person. Are you lying to me right now? No, I said, I don't know that you're a good person. But I don't know that you're a good... That I don't know that you're a bad person either, so... Please select any of the following sports that you have played. I was trying to figure out what my fighting skill. Uh, jiu jitsu. I do. I do jiu jitsu. I will destroy. You. Uh, please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience with. Uh, none of the above. saw me in the street, would you say hello? No, I have social anxiety. I would... And also, I don't know what you look like, so, you know. Very odd. No, that's not odd. I have social anxiety. Why would I want to just go up to a random person and talk to them? A is to be, as C is to... I will die tonight. Okay, I... Your recent answers indicate that you are exhibiting a flight or flight, oh, a fight or flight response and may be at risk of an acute stress reaction. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Press continue when you are ready. Yeah, he's right, he's right. We're pretty stressed out right now. We need to breathe in like... Yeah, I'm pretty calm right now. Hold on. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor. And observe the nearest exit. Right there. Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Okay, pretty simple. Like this. Boom. Dash. And I'm out. Just like that. Done. Never gonna have to deal with it. Again. Never again. To look away from your screen. Uh, fuck you. Yeah, okay, let's answer like that. Fuck you. Excellent choice. Thank you, I picked it myself. You think I can tell when you look away from your screen? Um, last time I checked, um, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe you can, I don't know, you feel safe in your house right now, uh, unsure, no, I'm pretty sure, and um, we have a dog, she'll destroy you, are you having fun, yeah, I'm having a great time, uh, right now, I'm having a great time, uh, my recording time's gonna run out now, so probably my camera's gonna die out, and then that's gonna be great, 
Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on the screen. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. I didn't think that they were. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? I do, but hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I had to go do something. Um, I had to go talk to my mom. And apparently I have to be much more quiet now. Um, she texted me. And, um, I had to go talk to her. She said that I need to be a lot more quiet. So, yes. I will definitely... What, what? Do you understand? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I haven't been... I've been at I haven't been at this desk in a while. Well, I haven't been paying attention. Music singing is reaction. Jimmy's got the whipping cough and Timmy's got the measles. Also, uh, pop goes wheeze, pop goes wheeze. Jimmy's got the whipping cough and Tommy's got the measles. That's what the story goes. Pop goes wheeze, pop goes wheeze. All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey stopped. The, 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 the pump goes the weasel, pop goes the weasel. Jimmy's got the whipping cough and the Tom's got the music. Uh, you know the way this story goes. Pop goes wheeze. soundly has difficulty remembering names I do friendly towards animals yes snapping on sails makes me feel disgusted I'm mostly afraid of being stuck in an elevator no that's wrong I'm not okay but in any case that's that's the Watson Scott test, so thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to become a visionary today. But before you go, take that like back, leave a dislike instead, take the subscription back, share this video to your friends, but only to show them how horrible the video was and how awful my content is. Thanks so much for watching in any case. Bye!